at all. And we're going to meet a couple who are Philip and Janet Lee Wolf, who run a very unusual business called Clarence Court. <laughs> Janet are egg farmers, but these beautiful eggs are very special. Their quail's eggs are real delicacy. And each bird lays its own pattern. Does it? Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> it sticks to the same pattern. Yeah. Does it really? Yes. Yeah. And it'll lay each that... Bird, each bird. Each bird lays, lays the same its own pattern, pattern on the egg, yeah. And it'll stay with that pattern for about three or four months and then change it to another pattern. We have to hatch about, um, well, at least six or seven hundred hen birds a week. So you've got to double that up. Half of those are cock birds. So yes, yeah, about one to two thousand a week at least. Yeah. And the birds produce that many eggs, do they? Oh, they're astonishing, yes. I mean, they're more efficient than a hen. Amazingly enough, we've had power cuts for yes. 12 hours and the eggs have gone stone cold and they've still hatched. Okay. It's quite astonishing. Because I bet you were panicking a bit. Oh, yeah. I mean, at first, we were really worried about it, the first, you know, and sort of the, the, about four years ago when we first started. But now, you know, we don't worry so much because we quite, quite often get little power cuts of a couple of hours and it just doesn't and make any difference. And it's all right. Yeah, but when you think about it, with a wild bird, you see, they'll often leave the nest and go off and feed. That's and, right. and they will go off for a couple of hours before coming back. So the, it's quite normal for the eggs to get cold and all they do is just just slow down the development inside the egg just slows like an down. extra day that's right yeah they'll just be an extra day late hatching yes. obviously yes. the incubator um, has got trays like that which tip every hour you see I so see. that um, the eggs the the yolk doesn't become stuck to the shell of the egg oh. so they have to tip at about 45 degrees this way and then the other way and so on see. every hour well, so if they, they couldn't if they hatched out in there then they'd all fall down on the floor you oh, see, I see. <laughs> What's in here so now? So this is the hatcher. So yes. after 14 days, they come into here, and they spend the last two days in here. I can see movement. And there you are. See? Oh, They've oh just... look at those. That's right. These have just hatched. Oh, there's some so coming out. That's it. I'll, oh, I'll just give one oh, to you. Look. Oh, see, oh they're they actually, now, They have to stay in here for up to 24 hours really? until they're nice and fluffy. Look at that. Oh, yeah. oh. See, yours is fairly fluffy, oh. but this one's still a bit wet, bit wet you see. Oh. And when they're really mobile and buzzing around at about 90 miles an hour, then they're <laughs> strong enough to come out. And they walk over the eggs, so you have to then come. Oh, put him back. Yes, oh. they're, they're surprisingly strong, Look aren't they? Yes. Oh, my goodness. I mean, they force their way out of come the egg, on. and then they... Um, they start moving oh. you know, as soon as they've hatched. He thinks I'm his mummy now. <laughs> <laughs> the amazing thing about them is they're so tiny now, they only weigh a few grams, yeah. and yet they're going to be fully grown and laying in five and a half to six weeks' time. Incredible. It's incredible, isn't it? <coughs> oh, these are beautiful! They are, they're oh, lovely, they're aren't lovely. they? Yes. Look at them. Yes. Oh. Now, these are about six or seven weeks old Are now. they? Yes, yeah, so they're ready to start laying. Now, that's a hen bird. How do you know? You well, because it's got a speckled chest. Oh, right. You see? And then the cock birds have got a sort of plain, ready-coloured chest. Let's see if I can find um, one. Well, there's a cock bird just down there. Oh, yes, Just looking look. up. And they tend to walk a little bit more upright than oh, the hens as well. Oh, God, they? And one bird will lay about 300 eggs. What, one of easily. those little things? Uh, yes, they will. Uh, 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 and the, the egg is a tenth of the bird's body weight. That's amazing. Which is quite amazing, yes. Yeah. So they're really much more efficient egg layers than hens. Yeah. Where do they lay these eggs? Well, they just lay here, just on the floor. Look, oh, they um, just dropped yeah. them. There they are. There's some eggs around here. Where did that one go from? Yeah. <laughs> they're just here. That's right. And we've got about um, 20 of these pens with birds in like this. And somebody and comes around. these little things are laying now? Yes, they are, yes. And that, they're only just over six weeks old, which is quite incredible. It's amazing. Yes. And or, they're or very other friendly, bird. aren't they? Oh, yeah. They're, yeah. yeah, they're not running no, from people. That's right. They love <laughs> <laughs> no, they love people. And they're they, really good. That's it. They like being handled. Oh. And um, they. Well, there's some eggs here. Look. Yes. That's, that's it. Yes. Look at yeah. It. 
<laughs> well, they're just gorgeous, aren't they? I've got a super recipe that I think will suit us perfectly. It's, uh, what shall we call it? Uh, savory cotswold egg. <laughs> Now, in the bowl, if you pop this in, that's lovely sausage meat, we're going to add just about a half a, a, of an onion in that, take the bits off. And if you could crack some quail eggs, about three or four, that's going to be the egg wash for this. Now, the onion is just an ordinary onion, and we're going to just chop it up because it's going to give the flavour to this and cut it up quite fine. Now, how long have you been in this business, Janet? Oh, I suppose about five years now, about five, five years. years. I think. You lose all track of time, I think. Do you? I, I think so, I do anyway. What encouraged you to get into this business? Because it's quite unusual, isn't it? Well, just basically a love of living in the country and a love of, of being and working with animals. Is it? I think it's... Um, it's just a lovely way of life. I'm going to put the onions, the chopped onions, into this meat, meat now and mix it together. And to that I'm going to put some parsley as well. So we'll chop some parsley as well. Lovely. Now we're going to put some black ground pepper in there and a little bit of salt. And I think the best way to do this is by mixing it with your hands because it gets together better, as you'll see, like this. So, there we are. Do you do egg collecting? Uh, not anymore, no. No, I did actually do a, the first couple of years of, of input into collecting and, and all the packing with the help of two marvellous local ladies. Oh, but, yes. So, of course, it's grown since then. It's somewhat bigger now and there's, there's other things to do. Mm -hmm. What about the pickling? Do you do pickling now? Well, we've got two marvellous ladies that run the, actually run the pickling, and they do them in tarragon, raspberry, Worcester sauce, smoked. Worcester sauce yes. sounds lovely. I, I think the, the, my favourite would be the raspberry, the oh. raspberry quails. Why is that? They, well, they look beautiful. If, if you, the bright red, if you cut one in half, it's got the contrast of the, of the, the, the yellow, red and yellow. Yes. And on a cocktail stick with a blackberry and raspberry, it looks fantastic and it actually tastes nice. Does it? Most people tend to think, <laughs> raspberry? Raspberries and cream, not yes. raspberries and quail's eggs. Yes. It actually is quite nice. So if you get a little bit of flour. Definitely necessary to yes. the flour. And it? beat it out a bit like this and then put the egg into the middle like that. I'm amazed that neither of us are crying here with these raw onions. Are they special onions? <laughs> I wet them a little Magic bit. Magic onions, <laughs> wasn't it? <laughs> so, and just roll it a little bit. Get the flour in your hand and roll it like this. If you roll it more to an egg shape, look like that. Oh, I see. Like this. That's it. Looks better. And then we can pop them on the plate. There we are. That's lovely. And this will make about six. Do you export the quail's eggs? Yes, we do. We export thousands of the pickled ones to Japan, which is extraordinary to say that the Japanese themselves are experts in, in, in quails mm -hmm. and, and quail's eggs. It's extraordinary that they come to the Cotswolds to to have their quail's eggs peeled and pickled and shipped all the way across the sea to Japan. <laughs> That's right. Now, if you'll just egg, I'll show you how to egg wash right. this. If you'll pass me the brush, I'll egg wash yeah. this. And then if I egg wash this and show you how to do the first one, like this, it's got to go all around it so that the breadcrumbs stick, yeah. can stick onto it. And I'll then roll them in the breadcrumbs. There we are. I hope you're going to like the flavours of these. I'm sure. It's nice with the, with the herbs in there and the black pepper, a little salt and the egg in the middle. And that's going to be lovely. <laughs> and now those are ready for deep frying. And after the break, I'll show you how to make another dish with quail's eggs. Looking forward to that? <laughs>